You want one of the big secrets to being successful in life? You've got to get good at dealing with emotional pain, real emotional pain. You know, when you want to leave the level of life that you're at, whether that be emotionally, spiritually, financially, physically, whatever it is, it's always going to require pain to go from where you are to where you want to be. When Amber and I bought our home in Florida, right, it was our dream home. This is my, my normal morning routine now to be able to walk here and uh, be on the beach every day. But you know what? It did not come without a lot of pain. Now, yes, there was 25 years of pain <laughs> building, getting prepared financially for this. But when it really came down to it, the toughest pain was leaving a home that I had made for 52 years of my life. And Amber and I built a home for the past well, almost 15 years together. And my home was exactly the way I wanted. It had everything I wanted. It had my pool, it had my pool house, it had a beach out back, it had a pool table, I had my aquariums. I had everything I wanted. I had to leave all that to start over anew. And the worst part, the pain we really had to go through was saying goodbye. We had parties the week before we left to say goodbye to those people that were close to us, family, friends, friends I had had for, and still have, for some of them 45 years friendships. I gotta tell you, one of my closest friends, Brian, we, uh, we went to say goodbye and I couldn't look at him. <laughs> he shook his hand, he looked at me, I looked at him, I said, I know, I know, I know, I know. Like we just, we were gonna both ball, I think, you know, it was just, it was hard. Now listen, the friendship doesn't change. But the location, right, the address changed. So I can no longer just have that pop in to go just see what he's up to. Or he can't just pop in or I can't have a random pool party and say, hey, come on over this weekend. It's just not that easy when you live a thousand miles away. So there were a lot of tears and Amber and I weren't expecting it. I had to say goodbye essentially to my mom, who I've been her caretaker. Um, you know, I say caretaker for the past 35 years. I've been the one son who's been local. So I've been the one son of four boys who's been local. I've taken him to the doctor's appointments. I take him to, you know, if there's ever been a problem or emergencies, I'm always there. And suddenly, I'm not gonna be there anymore. Now, I have, you know, people set up to take care of that and all that, but I'm not gonna actually be there. I share all that with you, because let me tell you, saying goodbye to my mom was tough. I mean, it was just really tough. Now, I know I'm gonna see her a lot. I'm gonna make sure she flies down here. We're gonna fly back. I know we'll see her a lot, but those goodbyes were really tough. And Amber and I actually had some moments of hard crying, like sobbing, going, oh my God, I wasn't expecting this. But we had to get through the pain to get to where we want to go. Because we do believe in our hearts that there's a better life for us raising our kids here on the ocean than there is back in upstate New York. Now that we don't like upstate New York, it's nice, but it's nothing like raising kids on the ocean. This just speaks to my soul here. So we had to go through pain to get there. How do you get through pain? That's the next step. How do you get through the pain? One of the things I've done over the years is to trap myself. Now what do I mean by trap myself? What I mean is, once you start down a path and start making certain decisions, it's very difficult to turn around. For instance, once we start looking at houses, that's kind of an easy decision. Once you put an offer on a house, that gets a little more serious, right? Once the offer's accepted, that starts getting real serious, right? And then what? Then, nice and hot here today. Then once we have that, now we're under contract and eventually we got to the place where four months ago we closed on our home. We closed on it. So now we own that home. There's nothing like being trapped because even though I was going through the pain of saying goodbye and I was crying and it hurt, it wasn't like I could back out. I couldn't really back out. I owned the home. I had to get here, right? I had mortgage payments due and I had to get moved and I had kids in school. They were all registered for school. Those were all things that trapped me to doing what I had to do. So what does that mean to you? You want to find what traps you. Find something that traps you to get your goal. If your goal is you want to be financially independent, you're going to have to start taking the steps. You're going to have to take the steps for that. And what does that look like to you, right? If it's real estate investing, start by making an offer on a house. That's the first simple thing. Once you lock and load and all of a sudden they accept your contract, now you have to get money, right? Now you got to find the funding for it. And that is another step. Once you own the house, well, I bet you what? I bet you that you will find contractors to get that deal done once you own the house, because now there's pressure. The pressure's on you to get that done. So trapping yourself is one of the major, major keys to success. The more you trap yourself, the more it pushes you to the next step. And the trapping, right, the fact that you can't turn around, the fact that you've burned your boats and you can't go back, pushes
pushes you to the next level, even though you have pain, even though you have fear and anxiety and all that, same things I went through to move here and many other goals that I've had. Once you're trapped, you'll push through, even though it hurts. And my wife and I were crying, Amber and I were crying. I said, look, she said, but we know this is the right thing. It's, even though we know it hurt, it was the right thing and there was no turning back. So once you start going for your goals, I encourage you, burn the boats. Don't leave a plan B. Because once you start down that path and it starts to hurt and that emotional pain kicks in and you have no other place to go, you will push through. And you'll wake up one day and find yourself maybe living in your dream spot. I don't know what that goal is for you. But you wake up one day and say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I pushed through. Even though it hurt temporarily, it made for a much better life for me to reach my goals. I hope that helps, guys. There's a ton of opportunity out there for you right now in the real estate space. Do me a favor. Go out there and get yours.